Kia ora and welcome back to Keeping It Real Plus Gaming. So tonight um, I'm going to go through gameplay with uh, War Robots. Um, probably do about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. I'm not going to explain much anymore. I've done pretty much all the explaining that needs to be done, you know, um, through the first, well, through the three tutorials that I posted on my YouTube channel that what you need to know, be aware of, um, so yeah, we're just going to bring up the page and uh, try to log on to War Robots. Of course, there are other games here you can get into. Um, I don't get into them. I like robots. Robots are the future. Um, it's beginning to be that way with drones. How depend how dependent people or the scary thing about it, military powers are on drones um, they're basically robots being controlled by people sitting in a bunker thousands of miles away eight dollars for Muramits and um, two gargantua and a pent and a pentagon I might think about buying that just for the two gargantua Eight dollars US. It's not too bad. Um, we've got a frozen score. So we're just going to go through our checks. Two hundred and fifty-one to upgrade the Skyros <coughs> to a level nine. We'll do that now. Uh, we won't go any further than that. Because we have just opened up our three modules, um, we can go to the Skyros. Uh, say good evening to our Colonel Aisha Sokolava. Salute, salute. Carry on, carry on. All right. There's the rest of the crew. Uh, change robot. So we are going to the. Oh, yeah, so. I did I did something in the wrong order but here we go here see it's that's the default reactor um, module get it every time you upgrade to that level interesting enough for me to see that these three modules are still in the selection list so I've got to go to the selections and maybe change these ones maybe change this one I know that this one has that same system seats last stand module repair amplifier and cloaking unit um, three cloaking units there Mm, three co cloaking units there. I think. Uh, fortifier. Would I give up my fortifiers to heal this one? Probably not. I might put the repair amplifier in, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't swap out three fortifiers for that, for the sake of that. So I'll equip the repair amplifier to the Erebus and um, keep the two fortifier modules on it um, and we'll go to the Aldrich Aries and we will swap out one of those 
cloaking units for the last stand module. So if you want to understand the last stand module, upon reaching critical durability level, the robot gets a huge amount of temporary defensive points. Several modules raise the threshold, durability threshold required for activating invulnerability. Mm. Two of those on, on this were the It's a bit of a decision, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um so we've got the daily tasks come up again, there's six of those ready. E take part in the battle for two experience points. Destroy enemies at a range of three to five hundred meters. So I've got another five before I get eight experience points for that and we've got five here uh win three battles for four experience points participate in six battles for four experience points 15 platinum for 1700 honor points uh, another thousand another another 1500 say to get another 10 platinum we've got zero up there Bonus tasks take place in a uh, participate in a battle and market trip task. And oops, so we can do our daily tasks now. Look at 430 keys. Okay, we'll go. We'll have a go at it. We really want that. 17 gold. Was okay, happy with that. Yes, yes, I'll show you why we wanted that 430 keys. That's epic, that's huge. Another 13 keys. Okay, so we got it, we got what we wanted. Uh, this is why, because I have managed. To save up a thousand keys to get the special prize in the next chest. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll go to the leaderboards. Check out the leaderboards. See what's happening. Um, got that much of a health bar to go to get 15 defensive key um, in 14 minutes. Um, so the same situation there, 13 minutes, oh, we've already uh, achieved 1 million silver, so that'll add to the 57 up top, uh, we can just see that now, so we'll click that 1 million, we might not get to the point where we're <laughs> Um, get these in in fourteen minutes, thirteen minutes. Uh, so we go to operation, and we have a prize in operation. Oh no, it's just telling us that it's reset. Just telling us that it's reset itself, so it's all we need to know. Get our jigsaw puzzles for our shock train. Up to four thousand four hundred now, four hundred eighty, and do it all over again. 57.6 million silver this is how many pieces we've got for the Mars so that's moved up on the priority list uh, and we'll just take that um, red highlighted point factor off it so we'll check the pilots uh, we're good thank you check the offers 
it's expensive. Just look through them, scroll through them, but just we're just telling the format, the platform that we've looked at them. There's no need for you to highlight them anymore. And now we will play the lottery, a thousand keys for a special prize in the next chest. Let's see what it's going to be. Gargantua. Ooh, went past the repair amplifier. Oh. It's not a cool prize. We've got enough of those, so. Not impressed, really. Um, so, let's go. Let's go to the game. Here we go. First beacon claimed. Ooh. Mm. Well, at least. Turned white. Wow, I've got limited choices here. See this guy here is playing backstop with the eleven hundred meter ardent behemoth, or was it just a behemoth? I think it's just a behemoth. I want to get behind him. Look, he's got four prisoners. Impressive. That is the built-in weapon that just flew away there. It's a suppression weapon. Watch me activate it now. Boom. Help destroy that bot. Oh, we've got someone with lasers pointing at us and that's what the fortifier does. And it regenerates because I've got those modules. I can help here. Because my fortifiers are protecting him as well. I might be in his way, but I can be helping him. Oh, that's 830... 1972 he's in range of my built-in weapons oh we've got someone down here trying to steal our D beacon so we'll just sit here and he's gone so we're not too tuned too well on the beacons, but here goes our Skyros. Oh, there's an opposition Skyros running for the beacon. Hopefully my suppression gets there, but no, and he's got a suppression 
Um, oh, 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 we just about did. Someone used a, uh, he's dead, so we could claim that beacon. It's turning blue. Oh, 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 we did. Oh no, we survived it. Got one gun left. Just one in our uh, built in cannon here. We'll activate the built in cannon now. Oh, oh, that was a waste of time. And he's going to try and kill me. We've got a repair amplifier on, which is glazing up and down and he wasn't able to penetrate the fortifiers and I oh, died it. Here's the Titan. Here's the big boy. We've got three beacons now so we're not doing too badly. We should concentrate more on uh, not so much because yep we got him out of the way we got B Beacon, but they really are solid here on A Beacon. Getting hammered, 11 seconds for the shield to uh, activate, 3 seconds for the reflector. Got a full weapons. That should come. Oh! You should be able to drop this Titan. Yep, Titan Slayer. It can't stay up there for long and the overall is should be we've got A beacon, they're taking C beacon back. We'll get over here and try and waste that bot all right it's gone up in the air we'll get him in the air done sea beacon is coming back online we're winning now by the size of the blue and red health bar lines so i'll put on the reflected damage and i'll run charge I can keep charging him and firing at him but that's a long time and it's glitched out. So we can try and claim this beacon. Look at how much the red health bar is depleted up there. We'll get back in the game. We won't be here for long. I think we've secured it. We've secured the one. There goes the victory. Yeah. It is a team effort. But there's no preference on kills. You cannot be out there marking kills and saying they're yours. Because that's just not going to work. Two kills, three beacons, sixth place. We'll go to the hangar. They're offering me 5,000 jigsaw puzzles for 3 US dollars. No thank you. Uh, get ready, 3 days, another quest. Look, I would love an upgrade token, but the way they go, or the last one went, uh, it, was, it, was a, it wasn't very cool at all, I wasn't happy with that at all. Uh, one more fight, but I might not make it because you've only got two minutes 41 seconds left But um, we'll see uh, We've completed two of the daily tasks uh, Click those 30 gold two experience points gold goes up to the gold uh, We know what that one means it's that shock train offer um, Sheriff Magenta, so that's awesome to see that. It, it um, automatically switched from the Skyros to another weapon, so that was pretty cool that it did that. Um, we can keep going. 
Uh, let's find the other magentas first. Oh, yeah, I think we missed out on that task, on the leaderboard tasks. 1 minute 48 seconds. There's hardly any games that are going to be that duration. Um, so we'll just let it go. So we're looking for the Sheriff Magentas. I've got a pair of them. Um, I think they're attached to a bot. Uh, which one? Or they could be in the vault. Oh, they might be in the vault. I will use this one to access the vault because those that's equipped with light weaponry. We're looking for the Sheriff Magentas, but no, because they would be. Oh, they might. They might be medium. So we'll have a look in the medium list. Sheriff Magenta. Or Magneta, or however you say it. No, they are attached to a bot. Um, it's just not those bots. These ones. Okay, so we can upgrade this to a level 7 so that they match. Um, I thought I might have had them on the play. So this is the default selection for the weapons. We've got enough silver and gold to get it up to level 6. That's 4 million silver and 294 gold. We could wait 19 hours for it to be cheaper, but we can do it now. Um, so we'll do it now. That means the weapons on this bot have, oh, maybe we should go to level 7. Uh, level 7, let's go 6 million silver, 549 gold, 2 days. So it'll just have to sit there <coughs> for 2 days. And we'll go again. So I um I got a good prize. Uh I spent my budget on a um, gold token selection. And um, we got a new Titan. We got a new Titan. And it was the one I wanted. So cool. Oh, yeah, that was awesome to remember. So we need to take these guys out. That is a tough bot. And this guy is coming in on me. Just wasted that bot, but they've been able to control, hold on to. You see how these bullets on these guns, the, the Razdals bend? Well, I call them banana bullets. Whoa. So that's a remote gun turret from the Mars. I think that's the Mars out there. So he's finally taking some damage. And we're going to sneak up here and try and claim this A beacon. 
Oops. 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 Oh. We've been hit. We've been spawned on by a uh, uh, seraph. And we've been hit by a orbital gun. And we're getting fired on by a remote. A remote turret. And that was epic. That was epic. So we we oh that wasn't a beacon. That's, this is a beacon. Um, so this guy's gonna try and deal to me, and I've got the charge, and I've got the healing bot, and he is dead. So we claim back a beacon again, and ninety-two percent on my orbital strike is fully matured now so we rain that down and we get damage on the enemy and we get healing stealth abilities so we've got a there's one ally over there trying to claim all well, this for them over there so I've got some heat coming I'm the only one here and this is the healing bot, so we'll try and target this one first. So we can get rid of the healing ability. Die, oh, yes. And this is the hard one, so... We'll try and reload three seconds. Oh, they're trying to heal him again. They're healing him some more. We've got an ally of support behind us. Put on the reflector shield and... <laughs> wasn't able to cope with the so we'll bring out the mercury the mercury's got some some um destructive power we've just claimed back a beacon all the boys came back to home spawn so we were able to secure home beacon again we we've depleted more of our blue health bar than they have their red health bar. Um, attack, attack their home beacon. Looks like the best feasible option. Um, when this Muramuts goes up into the sky, I don't have a... Oh, we might get him before he matures and fully flies ahead. Yeah, we did. We got him. So yeah, grumpy. They left their we they were about to secure their home beacon. So this might mature my uh I know it didn't. Um they might go for E beacon. The good thing about these guns is that the blast charge is is active. It accumulates destructive power. So he just wasted two of us. Um, bring out the Erebus and try and clear these guys from long range. So we have managed to kill one. They've all got Argus to protect the shields. So we might be able to suppress that out in the open and that's a mender. So that was a good one to suppress. And it's a good one to know that it hasn't got an anti-suppression module on it. Simply because if we were able to fire it again, see the suppression module was able to, so we've used the phase shifter to be able to turn blue like that. We've hit that shell with another suppression and I just killed that one. Uh, there's a... Arthur Titan down there and we just hit it with an orbital strike 
uh, but he's got all frontal shields it's a physical shield and yeah that was expected so we're not doing too good on this one we'll bring out the siren there's flight capabilities um, and yeah so they've got the dominant stance on us here we've got one more bot and two more two, two more minutes to go oh and they tried to heal me There's four of us left on our team two of them over there trying to secure home beacon um, right here goes my shot just been phased by an orbital strike and they put on a purple Aegis shield which is a very formidable Aegis shield and it comes with a corrupted Fenra that's a corrupted Fenra as soon as it takes flight it has a purple Aegis shield for five seconds and that purple Aegis, Aegis shield is defective deflects all bullets unless the bot is armoured with a um, quantum sensor quantum sensor module in the standard module so we just got 15 platinum for 1700 honor points we'll get that and that gets added to the platinum tally up top we've still got that many honor points to get before that 10 platinum matures we've got two more beacons to catch before we uh, get five more microchips uh, leaderboards um, one 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 completed 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 and what do we get for it that's it it's just telling us that we've completed it you can go hard out on this on this game and you can spend hours and hours and hours trying to rack up the honor points and stuff you need and you get a paralysis uh, drone you get 30 attack bonuses and that's significant that does help your kill ratio uh, 100 tokens I usually fluctuate between the first 15 and a hundred I don't play enough or long enough to get five thousand those certainly not six thousand and this is a cruel claw limited edition base damage increased five percent to com compared to the regular series so it's a light weapon but you get it when you accomplish four thousand um, you can keep going uh, there's 3080 so you're going to get 5 million, million silver you're going to want 1000 pieces for that and 3 resource so you get extra gold, extra silver extra keys with those if you place 3rd, 2nd or 1st and you get 5 of those there and 8 of those there and 10 of those there plus an upgrade um, token you gotta be on it for ages and there's only ever 10 minute games so it's either a long day or a short day at the office um, I think we'll call it quick um, we'll stop after this and yeah call it a night so this is uh, another map we'll just Choose Erebus. He's a real club stomper, this one. I love the way his foot actions are. You see that eye moving across there, that 550, 60. We'll, we'll suppress him, see if this suppresses him. No. Or did it? No. So he's claimed D beacon, we have A, B, and C. And coming online, E. Oh no, they need help there, he just, he just got smashed sh sh 
it it went um, a drift. He died before the inbuilt cannons could take effect. So we'll move our position, even though our spacebar function has matured, and looks like both of those must. So. Right. Here goes the scorpion ass maggot. Oh, they've got one too. Bet you that's what that Johnny is. Purple Aegis shield down there. Got him. Oh, base ship there, and that saved us from getting struck with an orbital strike. But if one of them matures between now and then, because it's counting down 23, 2, 1, 20 seconds before I can base shift again. So if they hit me with an orbital strike between now and then. It could be devastation for this spot. Oh, look, see the last maggot just turned up. I hate those things, man. God knows I hate those things. Real faggots. Fucking homos. Attacking the fucking ass of the... There's no fucking honor in it. No honor in it. They think they're cool, but they're not. Fucking homos. Yeah, you gotta kill. Finally. Three beacons being attacked. Here goes that ass, maggot. He's going to appear back here, though. And we're going to smash him. Got him! Death to all ass maggots! I go to church every Sunday, so. I'm forgiven for my sins. It smashed him out, took most of his health bar out. We'll purge our weapons so they can reload. Just got hurt by two. Oh, here comes a fellow Mono. Yeah, the panther girl. That panther girl gun. It heals. It heals. Oh, what? Nah, that wasn't kosher. If 
but we still have the healthy a health bar. Reading the ranges on the guns, 600 meters. So we can go for B beacon again, uh, D beacon again. Here comes that minnow. Oh, it's just an ox. It's not a minnow. It's just an ox. But it's quite, it's quite devastating. Oh, we've got a Heimdall here. Looks like a scavenger Heimdall. And staying within the radius of the Heimdall. Um, this is a Loki. Can't do much but run around stealth. Uh, um, where are we? We'll drop our water bottle strike on that. We've been EMP'd so we can't function. Three, two, one. Turn on the radar and smoke this Loki. Ah, he's come back online and we've taken significant damage. Been EMP again, 11 seconds. And we're going to take another orbital strike which will take us out of the running boom be coming into whoa yeah so we've got a sir is and I'm taking some damage from the charge he's been suppressed he's got a reflect on and we out we are out of the game so this is quite a significant that's a gun from the latest um, Titan one of the latest Titans that's a pentagrill and that's a um, scavenger oh not a scavenger uh, it's a blinding one anyhow so that's pretty much all I've got for you tonight with war robots remastered um, two kills two beacons six on the team um, yeah so we'll show you the new Titan. Karura Aitha. It's only level 11 at the moment or level 10. It's the big, big, big bot to the Seraph. And the syrup is this one here. So that's the little follow. And that's the big boy. So with that I'll leave that with you. Wish you all my good people blessings. And good tidings and good will overcome evil because we are guaranteed the victory of good over evil. Of good over evil. That's why I wanted this bot because it's a big, huge angel bot. And I'm into angels, I'm into God, I'm into Jesus Christ, the Lord. I'm into goodness, I'm into health, I'm into well-being. So that's why I fight for the side of good. Red is a sign of danger. Have, have a look at all the examples in nature. 
with snakes, spiders, frogs, even the lava, the, the actual color of the lava itself that comes out of volcanoes, all read. Use red on stop signs, danger signs, traffic lights. It's all a sign of evil, danger, beware. Um, and blue is, of course, cool, calm, collected, soothing, um, one with nature. So that's why I choose good and God and light and love and the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel and that's me so if you want to be a part of team victory you want to choose the Lord choose good choose the gospel choose God Amen